Is your name Kyle? Well, if so, I hope you know that you were invited, and I hope you didn't miss it. You see, last September, a city in Texas invited anyone with the name Kyle, spelled K-Y-L-E, to be at a festival. And their goal was to have the largest gathering in history of people named Kyle. The city, of course, was Kyle, Texas. What brought these people together, though, was a shared identity, a name. But did you know there will be a much greater gathering on one day of those who share a name? Well, it's not Amy or Mary or John or Peter or even Kyle. And it's not even a very common surname like Johnson or Smith or Sanchez or Chang. Oh, I'm sure something could be organized where many, many people with the same name could show up. They might even fill a field or a stadium. But I'm thinking of something even larger. And no matter what your first, middle, or last name is, you're invited. Because it's for those who wear the name of Christ. It is for those who are Christians. Those who have been adopted by God into His family, who have put Christ on in baptism. It is His church where those who wear His name gather regularly. And it's the greatest meeting, by the way, yet to be held. Oh, it meets now, but all throughout all the ages who wear that name will meet together. And you're invited. The location is heaven. But you need to make your preparations now to attend. There will be nothing like it, and it will never end. Are you prepared? If not... It's simply because you've not let God change your mind and add you to His family. But He will, if you will trust Him and obey Him. By hearing His Word, believing what He says, repenting of sins, confessing Jesus as Lord, and being baptized for the forgiveness of your sins, at which point you wear His name. And so today and every day, Let's keep our central focus on being ready for the greatest gathering of those who wear the greatest name. Are you in Christ's family?